existing survey tab. Road design module of eSurvey CAD has five tabs. The first tab is existing surface tab. This tab allows you to import point data, that is surface data. We can also do an analysis of imported point and eliminate errors if any. A feature provided in tab allows you to filter the data based on coordinates and elevations. We can also see triangulation, that is pin, to understand the base surface. You can also see the surface model in 3D. Follow these steps one by one to understand surface tab functionality. 1. Importing points from CAD package. Open drawing containing levels in the CAD package. Go to eSurvey CAD menu. Select Road Design, Export Ground, EXEL and Export Ground Level. After executing command, eSurvey CAD shows the number of elevations exported. Now switch to eSurvey CAD interface and in existing surface tab, select Import CAD, Import Ground Data to see the imported levels. 2. Import break lines and boundary from CAD. As we have exported ground level from CAD package, in similar lines we can export boundary and break lines from CAD package and import the same in eSurvey CAD. 3. Importing ground levels from Excel. We have seen how to import ground levels from drawing files. In case if you have ground data in Excel or CSV format, we can import the same by selecting Excel option in importing surface data. Note that we have to indicate the column numbers with respect to the data being imported. 4. Surface analysis using layers. Once data are imported, we can optionally see points, boundary, break lines, pin, etc. by switching on required layers. In case if you want software to compute the boundary depending on the surface points, you have to specify a proper scanning radius value. After making necessary selections in layer window, you can click on the refresh button to see updated drawing file indicating surface data for road design. 5. Filter Options After importing, ground data surface gets created depending on all imported points. eSurvey CAD allows you to filter out some data which is not required for creating a surface. For example, in a project you wish to work with limited data where easting is restricted to some value. Similarly, depending on northing, remark and elevation, you can filter data and remove points which are not required for surface creation. If you view the tin now, you can make out that tin has formed depending only on selected points and not considering all the imported surface points. 6. Viewing in 3D Select the 3D checkbox to see the model changing into 3D mode. You can use the mouse pointer to rotate the 3D model for visualization. To view the plan again, Deselect the 3D checkbox and press Refresh icon. 7. Exporting to CAD package Press the CAD package icon to export and edit the drawing in CAD package. In the next video, you will learn how to design horizontal alignment. Thank you.